spike on the ground, but if you put it a little bit outside of plant range, well, you have to break through that one or go on this really weird trek around it all the way through that snow outside main. So here we go. Now the plant wall is down, but Spike hasn't hit the floor just yet. Starlight's working on that for the time being, but Slays is all the way back Spike towards down. Snowman. What a crazy push from her getting very deep forward. And now Luna 2 tries to go for it. Does get knocked down. Mel is good for two. Shutting down that push on forward. The Spike still hasn't been planted. Right? Oh! Oh! Katriggered with a triple right there at the left. And I'm looking at this minimap. I still don't know where they're going. Are they going to go A? Are they going to go B? I don't even know if they know either. Oh. As we saw the Meredith say, 20 seconds left. And Alexis is going to be able to get away with at least remaining. one kill. But Katsumi with the double. Five. That one hurt. Yeah, it did. And we're going to see our first operator into action. So we're kind of pause a little bit and see if we can nice. get anything with it. But Jazzy King is going to be not on my watch. And oh, my Jazzy! Away, but she really wild there. Zoe has made her way up towards the kitchen, but it is a bit of a cross here. Oh, man, about to be a crossfire, so at best, Zoe's going to be able to find one kill off of that one. I really like holding kitchen against this flank, but any unexpected playing middle site there gets a couple of kills and the tag down. Tons of slays as well, I believe, so C9 clean. It's a little bit more aggro here. Yeah, C9, they just don't want to give a single opening over, although Katrigger finds one, makes one for herself. Katrigger's still in stream. She has the heal coming through, and the Viper's Pit just in the middle of, of mid around Boiler Annie with the Shock Darts gets two, the right click from the classic, a third. C9 are unstoppable. It just doesn't matter. Annie gets a fourth kill. Everyone else leave the server. This one belongs to Annie. And she knows, and it looks like her teammates are trying to give her some room. Slays, though, she could have gotten a free plant, but at 20 seconds left, and this, the way that C9 is oh. burning back on her and Annie. Well, plant wall to get the spike on the ground. They do have the Hunter's Fury spike for the plant. post plants. And they got some post plant mollies, I think. Look at look where Zoe is on the map, all the way back at, at, at drop in, in spawn, ready to go. Catch a flank, maybe some mollies if she has a lineup from that deep. That would be pretty crazy. Has double snake bites. They've got double shock darts. So the post plant is a possibility. They have to send the Hunter's Fury to slow it down for the time being. And on the push forward, Runa can't quite find that last shot. Alexis is here for the 3k. I believe there are some mollies on the spike. But eventually Zoe's going to have to run in here. Alexis knocks down. Oh, so good. And then their coordination completely sets them apart. From the rest of the pack, the aggressive push up there from B. It's the kill. The trigger does find one with the operator though, but Annie is still playing around main in their attack, wondering what went wrong. They have the rifles, they have the guns. Slays does get a kill. Another, if you see the fight here, Annie could just pop up the boiler. Timing's a little bit off, but Katsumi doesn't even care. Right against that wall. The trigger does get that kill. 25 seconds on the clock. Still has the operator in hand. Probably wants to use that to get one kill and then trade over to a regular rifle. But the Hunter's Fury will slow it down. You gotta tap, tap, tap away. Clock is ticking. 12 seconds. Another one almost hits you. It's so Ten frustrating. Work it triggered. And now she doesn't have time to change over to a rifle. She's got a shorty. She's got a... a up, and that is just not good enough. Alexis comes around the corner and puts a little extra into the floor to show Rue's boss. <laughs> Things are going through your head, which can be a little bit challenging. They are one point away from the Viper's Pit, so I'd love to see them drop the spike into the hands of Zoe. To be able to get that one down, go for one of those really crazy Viper ults that you can send from the top of the site. But already three kills very quickly from Polaris, that's exactly what you want to see. They don't have the Viper's Pit, the spike did go over to Sage. And now, just a two versus four with C9 trying to make some room, Katsumi has to get something, but the Sage Wall shuts down any real entrance into the site. Oh my gosh, she's just dashing forward! What? Jazzy Kins is out of control! Ruthless! I mean, now there's a crossfire for sure. Polaris get the kill, but... ...come through. It will be that lurk up from Luna. Through mid, that's what I'm watching as both Viper Spits actually go down onto the site. The flank is shut down, and now you have to walk straight into the smokes, but Katsumi can't find the kill. One pit goes down. 
kind of stuck in the back of sight. Flourish just 20 seconds on the clock, and Annie is okay. Gets the kill. And we're stuck here. Slay is stuck. 1v3. Pulls out the classic, gets the kill, but there's simply two Mike here, and going through the defending wall. Oh, man. Okay, quick little trade there from Alexis. Alexis had some ridiculous rounds. I mean, look at it. She goes to the yeah. snowman push. Polaris tried to do this on their attacking pistol round, where they pushed on deep. They only got one player back there. This time, C9 have everyone. Three players all tucked away. Luna does not expect it, but does get the kill as she goes for the heal. Will be traded on through, and Annie. Annie has to be so big here. Full HP in a one versus two situation. Eight bullets in the tank. Gets the tag on through. That's good, but gets swung around on the rafter, but... Very quickly, Polaris have made their way towards A. They've got two players in mid, making sure they're going in sort of late push, but Katsumi gets one on Rapture while Jazzykins knocks down Luna too. And well, now Polaris, you gotta sort of catch your breath for a moment. This wall in the back of sight makes it very hard to step on forward. There's five players still alive for C9. Yeah. I was thinking, talking about, do we save here? But that's the situation where I wonder if we should save our SMGs and just kind of bring it to the next round because C9 looks in a beautiful position to take it away. And as I see, that is going to be a third versus three. We're going to win our battles left and right. But that like is planted so far back behind that wall. Slays in a one versus two. They're going to be falling. She's going to be falling. And Alex's facilities are being used. There it is, Jazzy here. Just making sure that Polaris can't get away with all five players already for a day. And that does allow C9 to be plenty because she was able to get two players towards C. So that retake, even though it's a five versus four. At this point, I don't know. I don't know wh which team has a favor in that retake. It's hard. There's Hunter's Fury still to work with. But as they clear hell... Zoe takes down Alexis, and now it's a little bit more doable. It's a Spectre very far away from Annie, too, so she's good with the Hunter's Fury. Katsumi playing on pipe, gets one, two, three! Somehow she's making it happen, but an operator stops her dead in her. The drone. No one really to shoot it for her, and, well, Luna gets two very quickly. Slays has the Hunter's Fury. And we saw that one, but the resurrection comes through from Jazzykins. That'll be a three versus four for the time being. Still, Polaris playing it quiet, playing it slow, making sure no one oh, lurks back in. through that B site. Zoe's still camping out that one. And the spike will hit the floor in time for Polaris to set up and try to retake this. Placing swarm grenades. My ult not ready. A very good looking round once again for Polaris. Now post Blando is looking kind of interesting for Polaris because even though they don't have a wall, Block it. I don't know if C9 is able to once again gonna retake that. Oh. I see that the kills are coming in. Jazzy! Jazzy with a double. So we now is the one outnumbered. And the clock is ticking. I don't know if she's gonna have time to close this round out. Oh man, Jazzy Kins with Jin behind the corner uh, of, of center sight there. And she has ropes available. So she has so many different options as to how to play the round. And I think the only way you really lose that is if, well, Slay is waiting to see. Katsumi has a guardian in her hand. So does Luna actually. Loving to play with that one. Just getting destroyed by the shock darts. All of a sudden, there's knives coming around. That's a guardian on the ground. That one. But they can't really leave this B site. That's the problem. You look at how aggressively Polaris have pushed out of A main, could triggered. Knocks down Katsumi. And now they can't even go back and find that Guardian for themselves. They're onto the B site now. No someone's here. Starlight comes around the corner and immediately gets knocked down by Alexis. C9 with the numbers advantage and a convincing one at that. Zoe on little HP and now it's triggered a 1 versus 3 with an operator. How do you clear it all? Start with the player under sight. That's going to be one. What else can she do? Players to both left and right. No Killjoy utility left to deal with. Keep the map alive. She has to make it happen. Who the hell plays there? Who plays in front of Yellow? All time left two anchors on A. This is exactly what we were saying in the pre-match. And guess what? Jazzy can somehow is pushed up. We're going around the world. We're going around the world. TP's galore. But they get sucked in in Hookah. Still should have enough time to put the spike on the ground. 
especially with Zoe pushing all the way towards spawn. They make sure no one's on site to shut that one down. Polaris going every which way. I absolutely love it. That's like the 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 alpha strategies, right? Like from like like not the like the alpha, but like from alpha beta from like early in the game when you would go around the world on pistol rounds just to confuse your opponents. Oh, I love to see it. And Polaris are able to get the spike on the ground and make it a little bit difficult for these three players of C9 to get back onto the site. And as I say that, Mel and Alexis get to find a third. Alexis is good for a third of her own. C9, but doesn't quite find the head. C9 are in a good position if they wanted to like quickly teleport flank or something like this because the eco round wouldn't be the worst option for them to pinch down on sewers once the showers are over, once the hit does come through, but Luna will fully heal off that kill up towards heaven. The leers come out, and this is going to be the side hit. Not much C9 can do to fight back against it with three on B. And there's a flanker here who's going to get caught off guard by Cat Trigger. She's going to get that kill onto A, and then Luna on her second. This is a situation where C9 has to think, is this the moment we need to save, or are we trying to drop as many weapons as we can? Looks like that's gonna be the ladder as they're getting ready to retake that U wall with that Sky Ultimate for ability. And they're gonna both fall to a <laughs> Luna who honestly maybe have been a little bit stopping her from getting any further. And this is interesting. She oh, doesn't have ready. a lot of utilities, but she's gonna utilize that off. Be long. You have one flash to left. work with. And the Ray's up. right behind you to quickly trade off if you wanted to go for that play. Kind of like the idea from C9 is, and now Polaris are having to commit Enemy just remain. a little bit. Alex stands where we wanted to go. It's a little bit of a repeat from Icebox. C9 is not giving in a heaven, so a little bit of a different look for C9 in this round. The Viper's Pit going to be put to try and get the spike on the ground, but Jazzy Kins comes up over the back of Truck with ultimate. Gets two. Mel pushed up out of showers to find another. Pushes into showers. You can't do it to him like that. Trying to clear out the back of sight. Didn't actually find that tag onto Jazzykins, but Katriggered is on the hunt. She pushed past triple because there's like three different people right in position for her. Katsumi saw her for just a moment and gets that one, and Spike still has yet to be planted. Katsumi playing behind triple. You can't really plant the Spike. Now you have to consider teleporting, but there's still a player over towards B if you want to go for that. Starlight shows up for a kill. But again, they can keep swinging around here if they want. It's so hard to deal with. The flash comes out. Jazzy can speak for a moment. Gets the kill. And it is just misery. Complete misery for Polaris trying to play on this site. Two players are alive. And Zoe keeps chances up for just a moment. Swiftly go for the reload. Changes over to gun with just six bullets in it. That's not going to get the job done either. Need I remind you, that spike. Stuck right next to her Annie with the... Wait a minute. Um, I mean, it ends up being even better because maybe they get a second kill here and they Spike do. But Trigger's like, wait a second, that's not possible. I was right there. Oh, a dink onto Luna. I believe she's going off of that one and they don't expect Katr Not hesitating because that's the right play, definitely. But they retake this close plant has come up in favor of C9 almost all day long. So it's not over, even though. Three versus well, three spikes planted. planted. It's going to be a really tough situation for Polaris to be in. Let's see what they can do. As Jazzy King is going to teleport. I think they tried to mask the noise of that Yeah, and, and it should have worked too. With everyone playing on site, no way they heard that one. Good shot from Annie. Shuts down the jet on the other side, but now has to do a lot of clearing on her own with just that operator popping down from Hookah. Was Jazzy Kins, but Slate. <laughs> Oh, this is always where this always worries me. Annie, I'm getting PTSD from last map with her shock darts. She did so much work for C9, and we're gonna see the first player fall here on Polaris. And, and I mean, the clock is ticking here. This is getting dicier left. and dicier for that spike to be planted towards it. On site though, like they could plant whenever they wanted. That's a really good Roomba. That'll tell them at least one is playing A short. And the rocket to come on out. There's nowhere to go but slays. Actually, oh my gosh, everyone from Polaris exploding out of the Viper's pit to keep left. their Sova alive. Absolutely huge save there. And Luna may have to sacrifice her lives. 
That's a small part of the But just get spammed straight on up. Zoe with the sense. She knows how Vipers like to play it. And I think they might have done it a few rounds ago, but not this early on. That is for sure. They sense it though. Jazzy Ken's around the corner. And he does get the first. And then Smith knows she's right around the corner. But everyone is here for Polaris playing off one another. Tempted Fight to want to close this map. Quick and fast, but that might be their downfall here as they're gonna have to do another three versus four. We take another triggers on a monster mid flank, too. Yeah, and this time there's that flank that could be key here. Alexis, I don't know if she's gonna get away with that many kills like the last time. A little bit awkward flanking with this jet on an operator, and C9 are just oh, taking oh, over the site. Mel, how do you keep doing this now? Your oh. jet's just not in the right spot at all. C showed up all day today and she's trying once again to show how good she can be this time elixis is gonna get the first frag but that trade is good enough it's good enough yeah no, you I, take I, that I, I i would say i would say c9 win because they killed a reyna on a pistol round and okay. reynas on pistol yeah. rounds are completely unfair so c9 happy with that one and oh annie annie Silence. just with the perfect timing comes straight up behind just gonna say thank you very much to the sheriff grabs that one and starlight also gonna get dinked right there right around the corner of the wall down to just four hp no heals or anything available Polaris with very little avenues Standing to get themselves ahead. back onto the site. The dart is going to be the first attempt at that, but they know they have to clear shower, U-Haul, A-Short. With four players alive, there is so much left to be done for them. Yeah, it's going to be a monstrous round if they were to pull it off. That pick up the spike Oh, your gun's is... still showing, Slaze! Yeah, it's going to push C9 to peak and all in the hands of Starlight. She has 4 HP, oh. she gets a double, but that's not going to be enough. They're not going to bite too much as the rest of C9 is going to connect onto that, collapse onto that site, but there's a situation here trying. where they might have trouble finding that spike. Seekers coming right at the same time the smoke drops. Mel gets that kill. Great play from C9, shutting down the push out of U-Haul. Now they've got four players bundled up in U-Haul. How do Flowers get any control back here whatsoever? The answer is yes. Right over there. To boost up, trying to peek in towards heaven. But again, hopelessly outnumbered here. 46 HP on Cat Trigger. That was the price she paid for the last fight she took. She uses the shot to try and mask the drop out of heaven. But is still concerned about so many different angles. Alexis is there, finds a 3k. Oh, not losing a single HP on the other side. Oh, of go on it. Go on it. She oh, won. I it. like the idea. She went for it. Couldn't quite find the headshot coming around the corner. Now Starlight's just getting spammed through this box. Laris and Starlight has to fall back, taken solo again, getting tagged through that smoke. Starlight just on a just on an escape path for the time being. Azikin's trying to bait the peak out there. With a quick tap on the spike, and now you know. Now you have to swing this, or you simply get spammed through that point in series point. She's gonna unfortunately be the one. They're gonna be able to invest much into this round. We're at my point, Ender. Yes, we are, and uh, the Mel Tracker reads 22 kills oh, to 6 deaths. Oh, she did it. Wow. Okay, Mel putting on... He gave a lot of room, though, and that does mean that on the retake, C9 does not have the full Luka, even though Mel is right outside of it. Oh, I did not see that one coming. So it's getting a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be. Four versus five retake, spike down, and Mel winning so much time for C9. There. Mel just hiding out back here, has a friend with her too. It, it, it's so hard, you're just trapped inside of Hookah now. The Empress is active for Luna. C9, win this round, move on to the main stage. Luna has been revealed, the swarm is on. Luna comes around, gets one. The dismiss straight into the waiting arms of Mel. Who else?